Well, it's home sweet home. I have zero cell signal or AT&T. So I am going to, it's like 1.30. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to read. There ain't nobody going to do it for you. Got to mind your own. Well, that's interesting. Both ends are cut. I don't know if you can see all the way up there. Bigfoot, all you Bigfoot fans, can you see that up there? Both ends are cut. I suppose it could have grown up, oops, right? Like maybe it got cut and fell in between the two trees and it grew up. Or is it Bigfoot? Bigfoot in Wyoming? Why not? In Medicine Bow National Forest? <laughs> I wouldn't normally park in front of a gate like this, but it looks like a very developed campsite. So I'm hoping that this isn't like a popular spot for people to go hiking or whatever. So I'm just taking a chance and blocking this gate and hoping for the best. Well, never take anything for granted. <laughs> no matter how remote you feel like you are, no matter how quiet it is when you first get there, if you block a road or a gate, rest assured, somebody's going to come along. And sure as hell, as soon as I packed up all my camera gear and packed up my book and my chair and decided to go inside and lay in bed and read, uh, three different cars showed up, pulled into the camp, parked, and walked out that road that was behind me they were uh hunters it was it was bow and arrow hunting season three different groups a couple of them parked on the road one parked right in the camp uh right in front of me so just never never take anything for granted but that was a little too much company for me and i think it was just the beginning of the weekend so i decided to head up the road and see if i could find something else that was a little more secluded and i'm glad i did because wait till you see what i found locked down so like my dishes don't rattle nothing in my oven rattles the only thing that rattles is my screen door and I maybe some of you have some tips I have tried everything um, wedging stuff in between the door and the frame I even tried uh, spongy things and that just seemed to make it worse I I can't figure out I probably need to put something around the whole entire door of what my rattling is just it's the screen door everything else is pretty locked down all right so i've been driving about 18 miles on this road <laughs> and um, i figured you know I, I got out of camp at like 9 15 i'm like i don't really have anything to do to, to today i might as well just go explore take it easy forward to seeing this lake that I drove all this way and almost an hour to get here. Well, from my camp it was 16 miles, right? I think so. At about 10,100 feet, I just checked. I have an altimeter, altimeter. It's a free app you can download. There's a couple of them. I should be getting close. It was 12 miles from camp, not 16. And I'm at uh, 11.6, almost there. And then I saw a couple places along the way that are potential camping spots. So I'm gonna see what's out here and check out the lake. Maybe have another cup of coffee. Let's see the 
out and then turn around and try to find camp. I want to get some stuff done today. Oh, whoa! And of course, there's tons of people here, which I kind of expected. Water attracts people. road that I've been traveling on. It looks like it's going towards the lake. The road's pretty good. I'm not sure if I see the lake. Oh, I'm not even close yet. I don't, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Thank God the road is pretty good. Oh, I don't know if I can camp up here. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to see the lake. I think this might have been worth it. I don't think I can camp down here. I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing open space and I'm like, look at, I can camp, I can camp, but it's rocky and I don't know if I, holy crap, look at this lake. Oh, there's a giant tent down here. Oh, there's lots of people down here. Of course, I knew it. But there's also spots. Hmm. All right, can I get around there? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to back up. It's so good to be nomading again. <laughs> Just woke up this morning, I was like, what am I gonna do? Which way am I gonna go? Am I gonna drive all day? Am I gonna, cause I'm kinda heading toward Jackson. Am I gonna uh, just stay put? I was like, you know what? I'll have a cup of coffee and then decide. You know what, I'll have another cup of coffee. And then I was like, okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go toward the lake. And so by 9.15 I was packed up because I knew I wasn't gonna be in that site long, so it didn't take me long to pack up. And uh, probably about an hour to get to this lake between the stopping to check out potential roads and stuff like that. But um, this is really nice. This is really nice. I don't know, my lesson to you is don't let your old life, if you're, if you're coming out here to do something different, it's so easy to fall back into the habits and routines of your life, of your, of the life you want to leave behind. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose maybe I shouldn't be so hard on myself that, you know, I do need to work and, you know, there's nothing wrong with watching TV if watching TV is what I need to do to relax. <laughs> But makes me appreciate this, I guess, even more when I do get a chance, or when I do take the time, I should say, I should reframe that, to do this. And uh, just, who cares if I'm only driving 15 miles an hour on a road to get to a lake that's 12 miles away? <laughs> who cares? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's starting to look like fall. The green is changing to yellow. Look at this lake. Oh, there's two tents. Wait, no, that's not a tent. That's a cabin over there. Can you see that? Oh, I'm gonna have to walk over there and check that out. Oh, there's a couple structures. There's another one. And then that's a big tent. Can you see? Yeah, that's a big tent. That's like a winter, they got a wood stove in there and everything, so. uh somebody that I'm watching on YouTube now can't remember his name Brian is his name and I can't remember the name of his channel he lives in a four-wheel drive truck and uh, in the winter he uses a tent like that looks just like that actually with a wood stove so that he can stay in the snow which looks so peaceful you know I mean if you can camp in the snow you definitely can get the solitude you want <laughs> that's for sure and that's what he does so, all right, I'm gonna have to go walk. I hadn't planned on walking around the whole lake. Maybe we will. I don't know, we'll see. Beautiful day. It's cool. I'm at 10,000, probably more than, eh, more than 10,000 feet now. I'm not sure if I went up or down. Kind of went up and down since I uh, did it, my altimeter, so. All right, I'm mumbling. I'm gonna turn off the camera. Well, it was worth the drive. Be really worth it if we could drive out and camp. <laughs> I 
She's sinking in the mud. Trying to get her running. It was adorable. Sadie! Sadie, look! <laughs> what are you doing? Go ahead, jump in, jump! Go ahead! Go ahead, little girl, jump in! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! You can do it! Go swimming! Oh, you can do it. Good girl. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Look. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good girl. Get it. You can do it. Go get it! That one sunk. No? You're not gonna do it? See that? You can just imagine an old farm out here. Oh my gosh. That's how I want to live. And then you look along here and you see that was probably cleared for crops. Or uh, grazing maybe, depending on. Although if they lived way out here, they had to grow food. And they, I'm sure they had some cattle to eat. Horses for transportation. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> Although, hold on, this is dammed. Oh, so when they were here, it may not have been a, um, it probably wasn't a lake, but just a river, which is even better in a way. <laughs> I don't know, have your own river that you can just live off of year round. That's what I want. 
you can see how high the lake gets. Quite a bit higher in the winter. I mean, we're in September, so almost at its lowest, maybe. It's so fun to imagine what life must have been like out here, right? There are, I'm pretty sure there's buffalo. No, not buffalo. Um, moose. Pretty sure there's moose, elk, deer, turkeys. I mean, somebody could definitely do fine living out here just with the wild game. That's for sure. Wow. I can imagine living out here. This is how I dream of living. Having my own little farm, or I don't know about that. I don't know. I think if I were to live like this, I'd have to start eating at least fish. I might be able to do chicken again. I could do chicken again, probably. If I had to, I'd rather not. If I could live on veggies, that would be awesome. I don't know, are there any vegan homesteaders? <laughs> if you guys, I know a lot of you watch homesteaders. If there's a vegan homesteader, do hashtag vegan homesteader and share their link with me. I'd love to see how they do it. That'd be awesome. I don't think it's possible. At least not living off the land. We just couldn't do it. So, okay. What are these markers? I keep seeing these markers. There's one here, there's one up there, and there's one right there. Oh, they probably just say, no camping, no motor vehicles, or something like that. I'm hungry. It's noon and I haven't eaten. And I didn't expect to walk around a lake. But I'm glad I did. All right, let's see what this marker says. Nothing. <laughs> it says nothing. Well, la di da. I'm sure it's no something, right? Signs, signs everywhere. There's signs blocking out the scenery. My, do this, don't do that. Can't you read the signs? Okay, Tesla. I know Tesla isn't the original singer. They did a copy. My ex-husband's, one of my ex-husband's favorite bands. I've seen Tesla in concert more times than I care to admit. <laughs> anyway, I liked him back in the day. But of course I was a good wife. I liked almost everything my husband liked. So, uh, yeah, I'm at 10,000 feet again. So yeah, I'm feeling the shortness of breath again. Lots, all kinds of poop. I don't know what kind of poop that is. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. I'm thinking moose. I don't know. I'm not a freaking wildlife expert. I'll look it up later. When I have an internet signal. I haven't had a cell signal for a day. Last night, I didn't do much. I was really tired yesterday. So I laid around and read all day. Went to bed pretty early, but then I tossed and turned for a while and uh, waited for the hunters to come back. So I parked in front of a gate um, that doesn't allow motor vehicles, but it allows uh, walkers and horses and stuff. And uh, I thought, you know, there's so much out here to explore and so many roads and trails. What are the chances anybody's gonna wanna come out here? Well, lo and behold, two different sets of hunters came bow hunting it's bow hunting season and went out and uh so i was a little on edge waiting for them to come back i don't know why just because and uh one came back pretty close to dark so it's part of the reason i decided to move is because as the weekend grows on more and more people will be going out there and i parked right up against the fence blocking it. It's a legitimate camping spot, I believe. I mean, it is legitimate, but other people have camped there. There was a fire ring and everything, so 
But I'm looking forward to checking out some of the spots that I saw on the way in. I really do just kind of want a nice cozy little spot uh, in the woods for the next night or two. I think I might even skip my Sunday night video just because I'm feeling like I need a break from everything. So we'll see. I'm just going to take it day by day, minute by minute. Minute by minute by minute by minute. I've been listening to 70s music. <laughs> I don't usually listen to music, but I'm really into folk 70s right now. So, and I'm enjoying it. It's kind of nice. And it's, uh, I think partly it's just mellow and takes me back to at least what seems to me. I know a lot was going on, civil rights crap and Vietnam War, 60s and 70s. And I know I've talked to people who grew up during that time, but even they say what's going on now is worse than then. But, you know, for the people who were alive then, it seemed like the world was chaotic and things were uncertain. But for me, being a wee child, the only chaos I was dealing with was in my own life. <laughs> but for some reason, it still brings me back to simpler times. Actually, before I knew better about anything, before I knew better about what my life was, you know, because when you're a kid, you don't know. You only know what you're, what you're surrounded by. And simpler times because I was a kid and I was too naive to know about the world. Philosophizing while I walk, what do you think? <laughs> oh my god. Why are the windows so low? Did this used to have a bottom floor? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Oh my god, this is awesome. Sadie's exploring. Built with nails. Right? No. Wait. Oh my god, they're built with wood. Wood pegs. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, look at that. You see that? Where is it? There it is. Oh my gosh, they're built. It's built with wood. Oh, there we go. There's a nail. And tar roof which I don't think they had in like the 1700s, <laughs> 1800s, early 1900s. Is that the chicken coop? Look at this, oh my God. This was some kind of a camp, I bet. Oh yeah, look at that. Forest Service Camp, maybe? CC, what is it, CC, CC, Conservation. We got cement. Maybe it was just a storage shed. The cement is because it's really marshy around here. So maybe storage? that is. Oh yeah, wow, there's water back there. Oh, look at that. Okay, Sadie, don't drink well if it was an outhouse. Oh, maybe it was an outhouse. Oh yeah, there's the door. Oh, this might have been the outhouse. Okay, that makes sense. And that makes sense why there was a vent in the top. Okay, Sadie, come on, leave it alone. I mean, I'm sure whatever poopy was in there is long gone, but come on.
Yeah, must have been the outhouse. What threw me was the boards that are coming out. I thought that was like a chip chicken coop. Don't they like have, I don't know. I don't know anything, but it's just the window board. I love letting my imagination go wild. Who was here? Who was here first? Because actually there probably was like a homestead here first. And then whatever these cabins are came later. Maybe when they were building the dam. Maybe. Well-worn path to the outhouse. <laughs> that one up there looks like the newest. Let's go check it out. Can you see it? Even has a big old picture window. Definitely newer than the rest. Probably a summer camp. Oh yeah, this is very modern. It's got paneling. Huh. <laughs> See, he's not afraid of anything. Huh. Maybe a kid's summer camp. That's interesting. This one has a boardwalk in between. Huh. What? Oh, I'm not gonna step on that. You see the floor? I don't know how far down it goes. Oh my gosh, an old bed spring, two tables. It, that's not a bathroom, is it? Is that a toilet? No. Doesn't look oh, wood stove? Yeah, wood stove. Top of a wood stove. Whoa. I want to know we'll have to go when I have an internet and look up and see what this was. You know, I was in Laramie and I drove through Cheyenne even and I was thinking, you know, I should stop and I should like do some tours and look at some of the history. But I think I've said before, stuff like that doesn't really have a whole lot of interest for me. This is what I love. Just like, I didn't know this was out here. I knew there was a lake out here and I'm so glad I came. I kept thinking this road is horrible. I'm just like feeling all the bolts of my rig jiggling apart. I should turn around, but boy, was this worth it. And look at that. There's a hole. I wonder if somebody buried their treasure under there. <laughs> That's a great picture right there. I think somebody's kind of tired for a minute. Mystery has been solved. I just ran into a couple who uh, apparently from around here, and this used to be a lodge. Oh yeah, see? So they said where the concrete was, this was a big lodge.
And then when the Forest Service took over the land, they made them tear it down. So it was a lodge in the 70s. Um, and all the cabins, they would rent out. So it was a resort area. Look at, yeah, look at, you can see, here's the, where are we? You can kind of see the outline that I was just walking on. And then here's a big slab of concrete. Oh my gosh, wow. They said they put a match to it, burned it down. Wow. Now I'm going to have to find some pictures and see if we can find what it used to look like. I'm sure we can. You can find everything on Google these days, right? No, but mystery solved. A lodge. I wonder when the lodge was built. Torched in the 70s when the Forest Service took it over. Wow. A lot of broken glass around. I don't know what that says. Dated. No. R-T-E-D. O-R-T. Oh, imported maybe. Who knows how old that is. Let's go. All right, we're done. Come on. You're tired. All right, it's time for me to go find a place to sleep tonight. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, exploring, sightseeing, walking around a lake, going for a hike, and my favorite thing, exploring something old and abandoned. I'll see you next time. There's a lot more Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, fun stuff. And also I'm going to be making some teaching videos about RV life. So those are coming soon. Be sure to subscribe below. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind.